debate on the floor of the House today where members of the National Assembly spent about seven hours today and they spent that time debating the ouster motion of the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa with a majority of members supporting his ouster in what was a heated session. And as Emmanuel Tornow reports from the onset, it appeared the die was cast for Gashagwa as members from the opposition, seemingly angered by sentiments by the DP that the House was a theater of the absurd, joined forces and took aim at the country's second in command. Business of the National Assembly. It was almost one-way traffic. Speaker, oh, oh, I don't think it's fair. You have been protected. Oh. As members of the National Assembly debated the impeachment motion against Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, whose fate continues to hang in the balance. <laughs> And coming just hours after his televised lengthy press conference, the move of the motion Mwingi Mutuse, who took more than 60 minutes to prosecute his matter, seemed to be responding to the deputy president's Tuesday night media briefing as he tore into the DP's submissions that referred to the House as a theater of the absurd. He who insults the jury deserves no mercy from the jury. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has insulted you before Kenyans. I urge you, I urge you to rise up to the occasion. And from that pitch, the members drawn from both the majority and the minority sides ganged up against the DP, first from his own political corner. The deputy president accused the director general of NIS of providing faulty intelligence and firing some senior officers. It's wrong. In fact, it is juvenile. It reveals him as a person who is unhinged and cannot control their tongue. There is no other reason that has brought us here, Honorable Speaker. It is to protect the family that is being disinherited of their property under coercion, blackmail and threats. And even from his backyard of Mount Kenya, Gashago was a man in the crosshairs of a majority. The Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, after being charged with the responsibility of making sure that we have guaranteed minimum returns for those farmers, he continued to go and give guaranteed minimum returns to himself. He has no respect for women whatsoever. He has made a scathing public attacks on a woman high court judge. From what was previously the opposition, he got no respite, audience members taking aim. That in circumstances of combat, a bystander is at greater risk than a combatant. You must choose your side. When you say Kufa Dereva Kufa Makanga, you must remember that in that bus there are passengers. Please take the honorable route that some of your predecessors had taken like Jaramogi and step down from this position of presidency. But amid the army of those baying for his blood, Gashagwa had his defenders. Is the member on Rabokajiang on order in order to say that there is a mentality that the deputy president has a mentality to eat. Does he have any gadget to mention mentality? We don't, as a house, go for what I will call mob justice mentality, and at the end of the day, the other stages we lose it. During the session, minority whip Milio Diambo. <laughs> tabled a report on the public participation process conducted on Friday and Saturday last week, stating that there were over 200,000 respondents, where 65.1% gave the motion a nod, while 33.8% of the sampled public opposed it, with a paltry 1% remaining neutral. And after an action-packed day here at the National Assembly, the moment of truth for the truthful man is finally here as the MPs get down to the vote before midnight Tuesday in a divorce that promises to be noisy, messy, unhelpful, and may involve political casualties. Emmanuel Toro, Citizen TV, Parliament, Nairobi. All right.